Hi guys, today is day 24 of my 200 hour yoga teacher training and it is the 22nd of September. So I went to bed quite late last night. Um, I stayed up till 12.30 studying for the exam this morning and I got up early. Our exam, we had to meet in the hall at 6 o'clock because we had cleansing exercise, we each had to say a mantra and then we had the pranayama and the breathing exercise. We then had about 40 minutes for breakfast before moving on to our written exam. We had two hours to answer nine questions, a lot of questions and a lot of stuff to cover. But I got up early this morning and I felt much better. Yesterday I was an absolute stress head, but um, I woke up this morning I thought, you know what, it is what it is. Um, I'll, I'll do my best and give it all I can and that's the best that I can do. Um, I'm here for another month anyway, so you know, I thought it's pointless stressing, I'm sure I know everything, and it was brilliant. Um, we did the mantra down at the Ganga River with Swamiji, and yeah, I got up, I chanted the mantra, which I didn't think I'd be able to do, or be able to remember, or have the confidence to do. I d definitely did not have a singing voice, but I got up and I did it. I was one of the first four that did it. In fact, I suggested it to Swamiji that we do it down there while um, we were waiting for the other guy to get the pot of water for our Jalneti technique. So it was really good, got that over and done with, and then did our Jalneti, which is the one, the water part, salt water through your right nostril, out through your left, and then the other way around. Did that, and, um, and then did the exam. My hands are absolutely numb and exhausted from writing. I haven't written that much in a long time, probably since school days, as every day, every, you know, these days everything's done on computers, on my laptop. So, um, yeah, that was that was good. I managed to answer all the questions, put as much information down on the paper, and just the sense of relief and accomplishment was just phenomenal afterwards. We had um, a Heather yoga class this afternoon. Obviously, we didn't have anatomy, physiology, or... Um, philosophy today because you know we've closed we've closed off the the subject for the 200 hours so that we could do our exam and um so we had three hours to play around with i went and got myself a veggie burger shouldn't have had the bread but i was just craving a little something naughty obviously there's no meat here so i had potato and salad on a burger it was actually really good came home and i thought i would just have a little snooze before going back for my yoga class, ended up sleeping for about two hours. I was absolutely shattered. Went to my yoga class, was dreading it, did not want to do it. I just, I felt exhausted. My bones were aching. I felt just so tired. I just wanted to come back into bed for another eight hours. But honestly, after my yoga class, I felt brilliant. I felt energized and fantastic. After yoga, we had another group meditation session, which was brilliant tonight. Um, the group that led I had a focus on Tai Chi, so we did the elements in Tai Chi, uh, earth, water, fire, and air, which was really, really good. The first time I've done Tai Chi, and it was so much fun, and we all had a little dance at the end to one of the, um, I think it was a Shiva or Krishna song, one of those, but really lovely. Um, so t yeah, today was successful. After school, I after the meditation, I went and met the lovely family that are making my sorry for Saturday night's graduation. It's the wife... The woman who's making the sari is actually the wife and his daughter of or the crystal guy who I borrow my crystals from. So, you know, we've really just bonded with them. They're so lovely, welcomed me to their house and made me chai tea and while well, I tried on the sari and just so humbling and just absolutely beautiful. It's just I'm really gonna miss this place when I go. I had a bit of a sad moment today actually. I um so after our had the class. We, we have half an hour to play before meditation. So a bunch of us usually go down to the River Ganga and dip our feet and just splash our face with the fresh, clean river water just to cool off. Um, a friend of mine's grandmother passed away the other day, two days ago, so he wanted to do an offering and a blessing. And I'm not sure I mentioned, but it's like a little flower basket made it with bamboo baskets, so it's all biodegradable, with like flowers, and you light a little candle, and you put it in, you say a wish or a blessing, and it goes off with the river Ganga, and flows off, and it's just a, it's a really nice sense of release, and um, letting go, and you know, asking for, for your wish, basically. So, I did that with him, and there was another girl whose mother passed away a few years ago, and the it was the mum's birthday today. So... I joined them with that and just got very emotional and, and then ended up in tears myself. Yeah, so it's this has definitely been a roller coaster. You know, my 
I'm very happy most days, very sad some days, irritated with people other days, you know. But it's it's all of the learning experience. Like I said the other day, I think my main learning experience this week has been expectations. Don't have expectations on other people, other places, or other things. It all lies from within. So um, I'm trying really hard with that. But yeah, so today was pretty emotional. Well, this afternoon was. Um, and yeah, but it, it was a good feeling. So I have to now prepare for an oral that I'm doing tomorrow. Each one of us are sitting in the class of all the 40 studi students, the 200 and 300 hours. And we've got to do an oral on a spiritual topic either something that we've learned from our coursework or something else. And I'm doing my spiritual path, falling off the spiritual path, what happens when you fall off, and also how to deal with people around you that are close to you, your loved ones, that are not on your spiritual path and how to deal with that. So I'm going to work on something now for that. And I'll be standing up in class tomorrow morning and reading it to the class. So I'll probably reread it to you tomorrow night as part of my vlog. So, good night.